You guys, it is the best time of the year. It is sale season. Dang, I love a good sale. I love my sales, I love my online shopping, and I have one for you. This comes around every year, and I get so excited to share the sales with you because there's just so many pieces that are in constant rotation for me, and I love sharing this stuff with you guys. Today, I have a bunch of my favorite pieces that I wanted to show you from Lounge. I am working with them for this portion of the video, so thank you so much to Lounge for working with me today. Lounge's Black Friday sales are unreal and this year is no different. I've been working with them for their Black Friday sales for years and oh it's such a privilege. I love what Lounge is about. I love talking about all things confidence and feeling good in your own skin and as simplistic as it sounds underwear is such a great way to do that and it honestly makes such a difference to how you feel. So this Black Friday Lounge are doing up to 60% off. The sale starts on the 16th of November at 7 p.m. GMT time and there is no end date. It is just until stocks last. So if there is something that you want to get your hands on I suggest getting in nice and quick you can shop now as you're seeing this so if there's any pieces I've shown you today or any pieces you've had your eye on get in quick because you don't want to miss out on this also a really great time to shop for your partners or loved ones for Christmas you've got any end of year birthdays coming up perfect time to stock up I'm here to show you some pieces that make me feel good and I feel like would make you feel good as well because we're all about the self-love club I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pieces that I would recommend and I'm going to try them on for you guys so you can see the fit but I'll let you know sizing pricing all of that jazz so if you want to see what I would recommend in the sale listen up all right I'm going to start off strong we're going to talk about the anti-gravity push-up I don't know if you guys can tell but I am wearing the bra today and let me tell you it makes me feel like a whole new level of confidence I used to hate push-up bras. I stopped buying them for ages. And I'm telling you, this is the comfiest push-up bra I have ever tried. And I am so excited about it. I have worn it so much since the package arrived. It just makes me feel so good and confident. The girls look really nice. They're really strapped in. Just gives me like that nice lift and shape because I find that my boobs are quite heavy. <laughs> Is this TMI? I don't know. I find that there are some times, especially when I'm going out, that I really want just a little bit of extra shaping for the girls. So this is her. I am wearing the bra right now, but I will show you the try on. She is stunning, super comfy, really nice soft material. And I love the lace detailing. It's like really elegant and classy. It's not too much. Um, and the really cute thing is I've worn it a few times with the lace like popping out as you can see it looks really cute but sometimes I have tops that are like a little bit lower cut and you can just tuck it in and away you go and then these are the bottoms the attention to detail is just stunning I love the little L stuck to the top so yeah these ones aren't super cheeky which I kind of like I don't know I think I'm getting older because I don't always want to wear a g-string I do still mainly wear g-strings but this is just a nice, safer option. Love, I also love that it's black. You just can't go wrong. And I feel like this is a staple that will be in constant rotation for a long time to come. I can't even express to you how soft and beautiful this material is. Like it feels so luxurious on your skin. I, I can't say enough good things about this set. This is truly become my new favorite like confidence piece like if I want to feel confident if I want to feel good about myself I pop on this set and I'm good to go also comes in a beautiful bright red which I love and is now on my wish list or they have an emerald or a cobalt blue bra sizes go from a 30a to a 38g and you can get the bottoms in an extra small to extra extra large I will pop my sizing down below my bra size is a 14 C D it just kind of depends on the coverage that I want I feel like with lounge I'm more of a 30 oh wait what I'm more of a 14 D I still don't know what that is in European sizing but I'll put it down below love 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 this is my top recommendation like get your hands on it do it I'm not asking I'm ordering now another new favorite of mine that has become my new like every day I've been looking for a good everyday bra for so long and since they brought this out, I am in love. Like firstly, you can just tell by looking at it. That's stunning. When I saw it on the website, I was like, in my basket. I know I'm gonna love you. I wanted a nice white one. This is their Mindful Bra. The material is next level. Like, oh, 
soft as a baby's bum. I really like the bottom as well. Like there is wire under here, but it's like nice and supportive and comfy. Like, I don't know, when I wear this all day, I don't come home and like want to get it off immediately, which I feel like is really rare when you're trying bras. But you can adjust the straps. Very cute. It's also got the lounge banding on the side, which is lovely. Oh, here you go. 14D is a 36D. I thought it was 36. A mindful collection is stunning. Also comes in a black, a blue, and a gray. The bras go from a 30A to a 38G. And then your perfect like everyday thong. I love these. Worn this so many times. Can't wait to grab it in other colors as well super super soft i swear i have like bed sheets in this material like it's stunning and these go from an extra small to an extra extra large but i just love the way that they sit on my hips i normally go a little bit bigger in my bottoms just because i like them to not like hug me in too much if that makes sense like i like them to just sit on me nicely perfect everyday staple got you covered i think this is the cutest one i've ever shown you oh stop are you kidding me as soon as I saw this on the website, I was like, you're coming home with me. That just screams Georgia. The little like dainty little flowers. And then it's like a ribbed material too. This is so comfy. Normally when I come home from a big day, I'll chuck this one on. So I've still got something on, but it's just so comfy. And again, it's really cute. So you feel really confident, really put together. This is the ribbed floral triangle. They do this in a pink and a blue. I just thought I'd go with the classic white. It's got like the little bow in the middle. Stop it, that's adorable. And then like the lace detailing on the outside, the scalloped edges, so cute. The attention to detail, insane. You can adjust the straps as well to make sure it fits you nicely. All of their materials are super soft and luxurious. Good quality underwear. Oh, and then this is the bottoms. I love a thong style, but they're just so cute. I can't, they're beautiful. So these go from an extra small to an extra, extra large as well. And then you can get the top in an extra small to extra, extra large. I love how these feel, super cute, very aesthetic as well if you ask me and this one's on sale for 85 dollars i forgot to tell you the prices of everything the anti-gravity is 100 so worth it in my opinion i used to try so many push-up bras and they just like don't cut it but this top tier i'm telling you and then the mindful white set is 85 as well and then i can't i can't help myself the loungewear sleepwear apparel lounge just does it well and oh, these are just the cutest as soon as i tried them on I was like I'm in love I have these in a similar design but not exactly like this so this is the frill pajama top how cute the frills are a little bit ruffled ruffle your feathers so cute and can you see the detail like the lounge letters like stamped in so cute really really flattering as well you can adjust the straps to make them longer or shorter to suit you it's a really nice thick material like such good quality this is gonna last you so so long and this will be on sale for 45 dollars which is awesome you can get this in extra small to extra large there's also another color in this one if you don't love the beige and then these are the pants i firstly need to show you the bottoms because they've got the frills <gasps> stop that's so cute so these are the frill pajama trousers these will be on sale for 65 dollars again you can get them in an extra small to an extra large and they just, they sit on me so well. They've got the lounge pressed letters in it as well. And then the nice supportive waistband. Just stunning. Again, I feel so put together with this. Let me paint you a picture. Coming home after a long day, having a shower, washing your hair, like having the shower. You're feeling nice and fresh and clean. Hair is wet and then you put on these pajamas and make some dinner. That is what dreams are made of. Stunning, I'm obsessed. So those are the pieces that I would really recommend checking out in the sale. But if you've watched my other lounge hauls, you'll know there's so many pieces from them, especially their balcony sets. So many stunning sets that just like make you feel really confident. You can go colorful, you can go for your blacks or your white. Truly there is something for everyone on there. So make sure you get in quick while stocks last. I will have all the links and information down below if you do want to check it out it is up to 60 percent off remember and it's while stocks last so let's get shopping <laughs> Thank you.
Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing well. It is the beginning of a new week. It is Monday, feeling all the good energy and I'm starting another vlog for you guys. I have just gotten ready for the day. I went for a run this morning and a nice big walk. My legs are actually already really sore <laughs> and fatigued. I did a leg session yesterday, so my muscles are like crying right now. So I don't think I'll go for another run until the end of the week. I'm aiming for two runs a week at the moment, just like mixing them into my weight sessions, all that kind of thing. But I've had a very heavy computer morning, <laughs> just trying to get a lot of admin sorted I think I was telling you but like over the past couple of months I've just accumulated like a massive to-do list and I feel like it's just been one thing after the other like I had placement and then finishing my assessment and then the launch and that's been like my focus so this is like the first week that like I don't have one big massive thing going on. I lodged my teaching application today. Most of it anyway. I've got some documents I still need to sort out. Applying for everything. I'm also like looking at rentals and money stuff, budgeting. It's a big adulting morning. I have just gotten myself properly dressed. As you would have seen, I just put my potha spine up along here. Oh look, it's literally falling down already. I don't know how to make it stay. That's gonna fall down again anyway. I can see it moving because it's like holding on so tightly. But yeah, I've got this big pothos that goes like around my desk and over this wall. I love it, I think it's so beautiful. Probably need to put another hook up soon to like hook that back up around here. But I've had this pothos plant on my makeup table for so long and it's been like wrapping around my mirror. This mirror is gonna eventually go in like the entryway when I move out. For now, this is just what we're working with and it was just getting too cluttered on the actual table. So I bought some more hooks and I decided to hook it up here. I probably should have done it like along this thing rather than on my mirror. Anyway, I've done it now. And then the other strand I just put along here. They're so long. I don't know why they grow so well in here. I've also got this strand which i need to maybe put along the bars somehow they're just all doing really well now i am about to go to the shop i've got some orders to pack from the weekend so i thought i'd pack one with you guys and then i'm going to pack the others as reels and put them on the intuition co's instagram i'm so so grateful for all the orders that we've received so far over the next couple of days some of you guys should start receiving your orders, which is super fun. But yeah, let me take you through packing an order. We'll do the first one. I've already printed out the label, but this one is for Alex. And she picked up the couples bundle, which has our mental health check-in pad, our partner check-in pad, and our men's mental mate. These are all available on our site. You can get them in a bundle or you can get them on their own. But yeah, there'll be a link to shop down below if you want to check them out. First things first, get our packing box and some tissue paper. Cleaned up my cupboard so I can put some of my packing stuff in here. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Some tissue paper and then I get the pads and then they're like that. Then I get one of our stickers. Take that. And that's what I use to cure the tissue paper. Every box gets one of these Little thank you cards, so cute. And then these are our thank you cards, which I write a personalized note on, so I will do that. This is what the other side looks like. It's got some affirmations, so you could like display that somewhere if you wanted to. I'm gonna write her her letter. Thank you so much for your support. You get a card and you see TIC and you're like, what? It's the intuition code, but it just saves me having to write the intuition code every time. There we go little personalized note to Alex. So I'm just gonna put that in there so she sees it as soon as she opens the box. Fill it with some packing peanuts. Pop in a little treaty. These are my sister's candles that she makes. These are our little packing sleeves. Is this called a packing sleeve? Actually, I couldn't tell you. I am gonna record some reels for the Intuition Co. And then I'm gonna drop these off at the post office and pick up a few things. <laughs> I just got home from running some errands. I've made lunch, I've been eating lunch, but this just hits the spot. This is exactly what I felt like today. I felt like a bit of a salad. I made a vegetarian Caesar salad. I also picked up some stuff at the shop, so I'll show you that after I've had my lunch. And then I need to search some stuff for our trip before I go and meet Shones and we're gonna book our hire car and stuff for Hawaii. 
and get that all sorted because we leave at the end of next week. You're kidding. All right, I just had some reels to edit, but here is what I got. Shaving cream by the men's shaving cream. So much cheaper, you get so much more in the bottle. I also got some Bali Body goodies to try. I've never tried the Bali Body tan. I'm not really tanning at the moment. This is my natural skin color, but this is the one hour express. I just thought I would buy it to try. And then also their gradual tanner, because I think I'll take this to Hawaii with me just to like keep my skin looking nice and bronze. I got some hand soap refill because I had to buy a new toilet brush. This is when you know you're an adult, right? So I got this from Big W. I thought it just matched all my stuff. And I also got the matching little soap. What's this called? Soap dispenser? I got a little travel mirror that I can hopefully take to Hawaii so that we can do our makeup in the room. I needed a new loofah. I got this scalp massager. And then this is what I'm most excited for. I was debating which towels to get. I've been looking for some new towels for ages. Anyway, I ended up going with these from Big W. How cute. And it just matches like the aesthetic of everything. Like, look at that. That's really stinking cute so i got the two towels and then also the hand towel but yeah i'm going to quickly finish up a few things and then i've got to race off to meet shones after she finishes work we need to organize and book some stuff for hawaii so that's the plan shones and i did some hawaii planning i think i'm gonna do a little bit while i like start winding down for the day but i got a pr package from l'oreal are you kidding me this will never not be exciting to me. So exciting. They're coming out with their new infallible matte resistance lipsticks. Transfer proof, smudge proof, kiss proof. That's cool. There's 17 shades available at Chemist Warehouse. Kendall General wears shade 420. Okay, let me get them out of the box. Stunning. So these are the shades. I feel like a beauty YouTuber and I love it. I love, oh, this is a really pretty. Should I try the red lip? Yeah, let's try the red lip. Cute. I like the berry shade too, actually. Okay, this is the red shade, the 420 La Roche Paris. Let me try it, because I'm gonna have a shower. Take my lip balm off. Let's test this out. I really like the way that it goes on. I'll let it dry a little bit. It probably looks a bit weird because I'm not wearing makeup. I love a red lip, but I never wear it because it's just like, you know, it goes on everything. And if you're drinking and eating, I feel like it's just very messy. I tend to not wear red lipstick. A little bit of a dodgy application. I quite like it. I wanna see how resistant it is. Let me bring you into some better lighting. I like that so cute. I really wanna start wearing lipstick colors. I'm like stepping out of my comfort zone because I tend to just wear the same shades. This berry shade looks really pretty. With this one, I have like a blush that's this color. Good morning guys. It's Friday. I haven't spoken to you in a little while so we're gonna like touch base while I do my skincare and start to get ready for the day. I just went for a run this morning so I was nice and sweaty, had a shower and I haven't had coffee or food yet. Let's do our skincare so we can go and make a coffee. But yeah it's been a pretty big week this week and it has been pretty rough not gonna lie. So just want to acknowledge that that you know, everyone has their days, everyone has rough periods, it's totally normal. And if you are currently going through one, I can totally empathize with you and you most certainly are not alone. I think just with like the heaviness of how hectic the last couple of months have been, I think it kind of caught up with me and I was talking to a few of you um, on the Intuition Co about being in this like life phase where you've just finished uni. Uni has been like that big thing that you are working towards and takes up pretty much all of your energy for so long. And then it just like cuts off and you kind of get that like come down where your like body kind of catches up with what's happening in life. And I kind of feel like that's been me. Even with the launch, as exciting as it was, there was so much work I was putting in 
before that to get it all ready and to have all the products ready for you guys and to do it all as well as I could and it's a complete one woman show doing the whole business thing and I love it so much. It was like kind of the next big event after finishing uni that I had to kind of like get myself through. Anyway, it's just been a lot going on in my personal life at the moment. So just trying to ride out the waves of emotions. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit more myself today, which is nice. I've also been doing a lot of stuff for the move as well which I haven't really talked about too much on here but I'll talk about everything when I'm ready. My skin has been a little bit funny I don't know if it's like stress related or what. I do have keratosis pilaris on my cheeks. Texture has just kind of like come back. Can you see that? God this is annoying. Ah since I on my time off I have been packing your orders which is all super exciting. We have some new bundles as well and in the month of November we are donating a portion of every sale of our men's mental mate which is our men's mental health pad to the Movember organization which is really exciting. I'm excited to get behind that. We also now ship to more international countries which is awesome. So we ship to New Zealand, the UK, the United States, we do Germany and South Africa as well. So if you are from any of those countries and you wanted to shop the Intuition Co support tools or the journaling course, the journaling course is obviously international because it's just downloadable, but I'll have the link to shop down below. But yeah, I think also another theme in my life at the moment is I am overcommitted to a lot of things. I am a yes person and I've read about this in a few books and I guess it comes down to not having the greatest boundaries in certain areas which is something that I really want to work on but I just say yes to everyone I always want to help I always take on too much and it's like something I really want to make more of an effort to work on because I can't show up and do all the things I want to do when I'm overcommitted and stretched too thin and that's kind of me at the moment um also i'm in a bit of a transition period so i've got to allow for that to be a little bit chaotic yeah i think i just have overcommitted myself i'm giving less of my energy to a lot of things whereas i want to give more of my energy to fewer things if that makes sense it's kind of how i'm feeling i'm gonna try this sample i got in my beauty loop i think make a cosmetica hydrating moisturizer with hyaluronic acid maybe i don't need all that so yeah that's kind of like one of my goals for next year is to just simplify my life a little bit more i want to tap into a bit more minimalism and yeah just help my brain like i can't focus on so many things at once and i overcomplicate my life which is something that i really want to work on but yeah i think working with my brain rather than against it is a big theme more to come also on the note of goals for next year i am working on a little freebie that i'm going to put up on the intuition co eventually whenever i finish it should be in the next week sometime but um yeah it's going to be kind of like a 2023 reflection 2024 planning goal setting vision boards check-in all that kind of stuff and it's just going to be a downloadable free resource that i'm going to put on our website so as we're starting to wind down this year it's super important to have time to reflect I'm honestly just trying to use this SPF up. <laughs> I decided I don't like it. I have a few ones that I still have to try, but I don't think I'll repurchase this one. I'm just trying to get rid of it at the moment. I've got the Quick Screen Primer, Moisturizer, and Blue Light Defense. I really like the packaging, but yeah, I've got that to try. I really like the ultraviolet one as well. I've just got a small size, but I would repurchase the bigger one. I also got the Cancer Council Fluid. I love the Cancer Council products, so hopefully I like this one as well. Yeah, UVA and UVB protection, which is awesome. So I do want to get on that. But yeah, the plan for today is some computer work, some pieces, and I'm also going to take some photos of my clothes that I have to put up on Depop. I did a massive wardrobe declutter a couple of weeks ago. I have so many new clothing pieces that I am ready to like get rid of. I do this quite regularly, but if you want to get your hands on some of my clothes, chances are it will be up on my Depop. That's enough for me today. I'm going to slick my hair back today. Most definitely hair washing day. 
for my bums. I just like pull a tiny bit through and then wrap it around. There we go. I actually forgot we are gonna try and get Taylor Swift tickets this morning because they're releasing extra tickets and we missed out last time. So let's see. We didn't get tickets. Which is sad. Here's what it is. I'm just a girl who wants to go to the Taylor Swift concert. I got an Amazon package while I was making my breakfast and I thought I'd show you. I bought these because I got like a knockoff Stanley cup, like a really big insulated cup. It came with a plastic straw and I really wanted like a really long glass one. Kind of unnecessary, but my Amazon Prime membership was running out. So I was like, let's get it. But what I didn't realize is the like lid of my cup that I have isn't big enough for this lid to go through. So now I've got eight glass straws that don't fit into the cup that I bought them for. Should I have checked that? Look, probably. But if I ever get a Stanley cup one day, <laughs> now that I know that I like them, but let me show you. I got about four bent straws and then four of the straight ones. I'm just gonna, I think, keep these wrapped up and put them with all of my boxes to move so I'll like unbox them when I have my house and whatever. I think I'm gonna start taking some photos for Depop. Hello everyone, good morning. It is Saturday. Shows our Uber driver for today. Um, we are going to Harbour Town to do a bit of pre-holiday shopping and you probably noticed the quality difference already. I brought my old vlogging camera for today just to see what the quality is like because this is the Canon G7X and the like it is so much smaller than my other camera and I think for traveling this would just be way more doable. Like I could put this in my bag. This would just be way more practical to take to Hawaii next week. So yeah, hopefully the sound sounds good and the vision looks okay. We will see. Today is the decider whether I take this camera or not. Because my other camera is like really big. It's got the mic on the top and like, yes, it's good quality, but it's just not very travel friendly. And it's not fun though. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my camera that I had years ago and you might remember I dropped it and that's why I got my other camera. So again, I think when I dropped it, like the quality changed or like, I don't know, I just like messed up the camera somehow. What are we looking for today? Um, denim skirt. Denim skirt. Bikini. Togs. Yeah. Platform sandals. Platform sandals, yes. A coffee. Coffee. Ruby and Peggy. Um, running shorts. Oh yeah, running shorts. Maybe. I've been trying to find like, you know those loose fit running shorts? It shows what's on too. But like, I, I don't know, just like the sizing or like the fit of them is just not it. It's not it. It's not it. So hopefully we can find some of that today. Maybe in one of like the sporting stores. Like, Surely. I'm gonna do a pack with me for Hawaii. So I've been really enjoying watching pack with me videos. Every time you go traveling, it's like the, in, a part of your prep. Yeah. You gotta like watch what like travel doing? vlogs and also pack with me vlogs. Yeah. Because I just wanna know what you're taking. Also, oh, I could have done that. No. 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 Don't mind. My hair. It's so much longer. It's Have you so noticed? Long. Remember when I remember when I chopped my hair off? That was a bit of a phase, wasn't it? Yeah. I saw a photo when I had really short hair and blonde hair. You just don't look like yourself. That doesn't look like me. She wasn't okay. <laughs> no, she was not. <laughs> she needed some um, TLC. Quick little haul. Look how long my hair is. Side note. Was that successful? No. Oh, do you know how gross that's gonna be? Was pajamas on my shopping list today? No. No. Did I buy pajamas? Yeah, I did. Was that all that I bought? Yeah. Although, actually, this is a bit festive. I got a little ornament for my Christmas tree. It's not really, I mean, it's summery. Can you see? It's a little Aperol. How cute's that? Very cute. Love. We leave for Hawaii in I think seven days. I have no bathers, <laughs> um, no denim skirt. But we're gonna, the Iconic's got you. I, f I am putting the good energy out there. Yeah. You'll find something on the Iconic. Was this necessary? No. Is it summer right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't you wrap them so up? <laughs> Why don't you wrap them up for yourself and open them out in the winter? In the winter, <laughs> in the winter. The winter. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bit to do. Cute little 
Peter Alexander pajamas. So like the beige, really soft ones. I saw them ages ago, but they were $49 from $139. Like that's a bargain. If I didn't buy them, I would have gone home and then been sad that I didn't buy them. Harpanel is my favorite pajamas. Some little gray shorts. <laughs> That's, that's a visual representation of how our days. They have these cute little basic tanks, but they're like cropped. So I've never seen this brand before, and now I'm gonna go buy them. Like, go and get them, or maybe don't, because then we won't be able we, to get we them. We need them. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the white, cute little black cropped pajama top. Mm -hmm. I might even wear them tonight. From Chemist Warehouse. Oh, we did have some success. Oh yeah, Chemist Warehouse. Oh, I didn't even remember I got these. I thought you already I got, got eye masks. But you said you already got them. I've got Mecca ones, but then I thought maybe for the way home too. Like little eye masks for the plane. This is my favorite cleanser. Would recommend. It's huge. I've got my sister onto it. This is the big one. Some little travel makeup brown. Um, we both got the Emco Beauty bronzing drops. Yeah. So they're supposed to be like the Charlotte Tilbury. I oh, know the um, Drunk okay. Elephant. Drunk Elephant, yeah. Can you? I feel like the um, <laughs> no the container just looks like it'll feel nice. Yeah. Today, Today's Julia. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't click. I was hoping it would click. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let me put this in the back. What did you get, Sharon? So you got out of all of that, all day, that whole bag and you've got... <laughs> this one, one bag from Billabong. I didn't even, I wanted a different style tank top for this, but... Have you gotten the Uniqlo ones? The, have I not told you about the Uniqlo ones? No. They what? have a shelf bra in them. They're like those, the Poppinel ones. But they're like, I'll send you a photo when I get home. I got the bronzy drops as well. Hydrolai, necessities for travel. You're all mini face thing for us to use on the plane. And like a mini body moisturizer. That's semi successful. Cause that's like all the stuff you've got to with. Yeah, semi successful. I'll just be walking around naked. <laughs> I won't have a UTI. <laughs> Come back for the vlog. We've shown it naked. <laughs> like I'll have a tan. <laughs> And then we'll be fine. <laughs> Top, we're bothered. Yeah, I'm tired now. See you in Hawaii. <laughs> I am jumping on to end off this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching what I got up to this week, even though it was a little bit of a disjointed week, but that is just the reality of some weeks. And sometimes things don't go to plan. Sometimes you go through these rough seasons, but we always come back to this feeling of gratitude. And yeah, I'm in a much better headspace now than I was, um, during the middle of this vlog where I wasn't filming, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I also just wanted to mention, I have just now edited the footage that I took on my Canon G7X. And let me tell you, I won't be taking this to Hawaii. I think I kind of forgot why it was broken. The quality, the sound, none of it was it. Sadly, she's still broke, but that's okay. I will just take this camera with me. I am gonna do a little pack with me. I just got my suitcase out. I'm filming another video today, so there's a few videos coming. I love you guys. Thank you for the support, and I will talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye, guys.